So what I am doing is I am painting my cushions. So this is what my cushion started out as. Um, it's very faded. It's just your standard cotton material. Um, nothing too exciting about it. It fits on my wicker set. Um, but the foam is still in really good condition because of the, um, the tucking here, pin tucking. I am not um, a super sewer, so I don't have the skill to recover, sew a brand new cover for it. Um, plus the fact that I don't have a fabric store locally um, is stopping me from recovering these. So instead, I decided I'm going to take some Fusion Mineral paint to it. So this is what I'm using today. I'm using Ash. And I'm gonna just quick show you, give you a quick demo of what I'm doing. So to paint fabric, obviously the fabric in the end isn't going to be um, exactly the same texture as what you start out with, but being that it is an outdoor piece of furniture, I actually appreciate the fact that it's going to come looking, come out feeling a little bit more like vinyl um, because it has that resin content. It's going to harden the fabric a little bit, but we keep it soft and flexible by adding a wax to it at the very end. So we're going to start with painting it. And what we want to do is basically take a spray bottle of water and we want to soak our fabric um, enough that it would be way too wet to sit on. Come on, where's my water? So we're going to soak the fabric. As you can see, there's quite a bit of water on it and it is soaking into the foam. But then I'm going to take my, my paint and I'm just going to apply it. And as you can see, it's soaking right in to the fabric because of the wet, the dampness of the fabric. Um, basically what you want it to do is dye your fabric slowly. So we're going to do this in a couple coats for sure. Um, as you can see there, it is dyeing my fabric. And when it dries, I can apply another coat with the same process, um, maybe just adding a little bit less water. So we'll come back when I've got on to coat number two. Okay, I got one coat on and you can see it's dry now. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit thin in some places, but that's okay. We're gonna do a second coat. Um, but step two of this process is to actually take some sandpaper. And I know it sounds funny to sand fabric because right now it's, you can hear it, it's a little bit, um, not crunchy, but like vinyl feeling. So sanding it is actually going to soften the fabric again and then we will do a second coat, do another sanding and then top it off with wax. So you just basically want to sand it and then you get to uh, take away some of the, the roughness on the fabric. It's going to make a little bit of um, color difference. But I'm going to sand it all. So once you sand it, in, it's a little bit softer again then you're going to come back with it and do um, the second coat and again the same technique we're applying as we did the first one do a little bit of spraying dip it and that's just water and then dip it in and we're basically covering the fabric spot that we sprayed um, and just dyeing the fabric essentially and we're just going to do that to the whole thing again um, until we get the color and finish that we want. So we are on to step three, as you can see, or just technically a step four. Um, so this one I have sanded. Now I have a tip for you. We are gonna apply a wax, a clear wax. Um, if you have used socks that you can't find the pair, throw one on and use that to apply your wax. It works really well. So basically um, you're gonna sand it again and just to make it softer and then you're gonna apply a natural wax and you're basically gonna buff it into the fabric. Um, and this is what's giving it its waterproof protection. 
and then that way you um, can have it outside and it's gonna stay protected and some people think that this is going to actually rub off in your clothes if you give it um, a couple hours to dry it's gonna soak into the fabric and really be dry to touch even right now I can feel it's it's not really coming off on my hands they're kind of greasy from the wax but uh, from applying it but yeah so after that's all dry then it's basically like vinyl and it's good to go to sit outside hope this helps and okay I wanted to show you kind of my final product after the wax has dried you guys can see here um, that it's not quite as shiny as it had been when I first put the wax on but in the sun it's actually softened even more and not super um, like it's not really crisp and crunchy it just feels more like vinyl and it's gonna be nice and waterproof um, if it does get rain on it obviously I would recommend because they're cushions and foam inside that you would put them in a summer covered if they get wet but anyway they're gonna be nice and durable for outside and you have a brand new looking cushion cover so hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend bye